What if you woke up one day to find the West Coast devastated by the big one? This isn't a question to stir fear, but an exploration into a hypothetical scenario that could very well transform into reality. Let's take a step back and define what we mean by the big one. It's a term often used to refer to a hypothetical earthquake of significant magnitude expected to occur along the west coast of the United States. The epicenter of this theoretical quake? The San Andreas Fault, a tectonic boundary that stretches over 800 miles through California. But what causes this potential titan of tremors? The answer lies beneath our feet, in the restless dance of tectonic plates. Earth's crust is like a jigsaw puzzle of these plates floating on a semi-fluid layer of the Earth's mantle. When these plates move and jostle against each other they create what we know as earthquakes. Imagine a massive unseen force lurking beneath the surface, locked in a centuries-old struggle. That's the situation at the San Andreas Fault, where the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate are in constant grinding conflict. Over time, stress builds up along the fault line. When the stress reaches a critical point, it's released in the form of seismic waves, shaking the Earth above. This is the essence of the big one, a moment of cataclysmic release following centuries of tectonic tension. It's predicted to be a quake of such magnitude that it would dwarf many of the seismic events we've experienced in the past. But why does it matter? The West Coast is a vibrant hub of people, infrastructure, and economic activity. An event like the Big One could have profound and far-reaching consequences affecting millions of lives and reshaping landscapes. The Big One is not just a figment of imagination, it is a potential reality backed by science. And understanding this reality is the first step towards preparing for it. As we delve deeper into this topic remember that knowledge is our best defense against the unpredictable forces of nature. Now you must wonder what triggers such a massive quake. Let us delve into the fascinating yet terrifying world of seismic science. Earthquakes in essence are the Earth's way of releasing pent-up energy. They occur when the rocks comprising Earth's crust, strained beyond their limit, suddenly fracture and slip, releasing energy in waves that travel through the Earth. The Earth's crust is divided into several large and small chunks, known as tectonic plates. These plates are constantly, albeit slowly, moving. Picture a grand geological ballet where the Earth's crust is the stage and the tectonic plates are the performers. However, unlike a ballet, this performance is less Swan Lake and more Clash of the Titans. One of the most significant movements is subduction. This happens when a denser oceanic plate collides with a less dense continental plate. The oceanic plate is forced under the continental plate into the Earth's mantle, the layer beneath the crust. This process can generate the most powerful earthquakes known to humankind. The infamous Ring of Fire circling the Pacific Ocean, where the majority of the world's earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur, is a result of numerous subduction zones. But how do we measure the strength of these natural phenomena? Enter the Richter Scale. Developed in the early 20th century by Charles F. Richter, this logarithmic scale quantifies the energy released by an earthquake. Each whole number increase on the Richter scale represents a tenfold increase in measured amplitude and roughly 31 times more energy release. For instance, a 6 on the Richter scale releases 31 times more energy than a 5. So, when we talk about the big one, we're referring to a quake with a magnitude of 8 or more on the Richter scale. A seismic event of this magnitude can cause catastrophic damage over large areas, a sobering reminder of the raw power Mother Nature wields. Understanding the science of earthquakes helps us realize the immense power they carry and the potential devastation they can cause. The more we understand, the better we can prepare, and perhaps, the more respect we can give to our dynamic, ever-changing Earth. But what would happen if the big one were to strike the West Coast? Imagine, if you will, the ground shaking beneath your feet, buildings swaying, roads splitting open, and bridges collapsing. The big one, a hypothetical mega-earthquake, would undoubtedly cause significant loss of life. In the blink of an eye, bustling cities could be reduced to ruins. The death toll, while impossible to predict accurately, could be in the thousands, if not tens of thousands. But the destruction wouldn't stop at the immediate loss of life. The physical damage to property would be extensive. Homes, businesses, and critical infrastructure would be demolished or damaged beyond repair. The cost of rebuilding could run into the hundreds of billions of dollars, plunging the region and potentially the entire country into an economic crisis. Beyond the immediate physical and economic damage,
the long-term environmental effects of such a catastrophic event could be equally devastating. Landslides could alter the landscape, rivers could change course, and coastal areas could be permanently flooded. This could lead to the displacement of wildlife and loss of biodiversity. While the picture painted is dire, it's crucial to note that preparedness and early warning systems can significantly reduce the impact of such a disaster. By understanding the science behind earthquakes, we can better predict when and where they might occur. This knowledge, coupled with robust infrastructure and emergency response plans, can save lives and limit damage. Moreover, investing in earthquake-resistant structures and improving the resilience of critical infrastructure can significantly reduce the potential economic impact. The cost of these measures may seem high now, but they pale in comparison to the potential cost of recovery following the big one. The big one is a sobering reminder of the power of nature and the fragility of our human-built environment. It's a call to action for scientists, policymakers, and individuals alike to prioritize earthquake preparedness and resilience. The big one, if it hits, could reshape the West Coast, and its impacts would be felt globally. In the span of just a few minutes, our world as we know it could change drastically. We've journeyed together, understanding the hypothetical nightmare of the big one, a major earthquake forecasted to hit the West Coast. We've delved into the science behind earthquakes, learning about tectonic plates, seismic waves, and the unpredictable nature of these natural disasters. We've also explored the potential impact of such a major quake, from infrastructure damage to long-term economic effects. This exploration is not meant to instill fear, but to promote understanding and preparation. The more we know about these powerful forces of nature, the better equipped we are to handle their effects. It is crucial to have plans in place, to understand safety procedures, and to be aware of the resources available in the event of an earthquake. While we can't prevent earthquakes, understanding them better prepares us to face them. Remember, knowledge is our best defense against the unpredictable power of nature.